All right, guys, so entrepreneurs, online marketers, content creators, everyone is relying on video to promote whatever they're promoting. Video is essential, it is king on these platforms, and the best way to make a better video is to add something called B-roll. B-roll adds interest to the video, it makes people watch the video longer, signaling to the algorithms that the video is actually entertaining and they should keep promoting it to more people. Traditionally, stock footage websites that people use for B-roll are very expensive for a limited amount of videos, and the alternative would be a free solution, and usually those have a mediocre selection and the quality is not as convincing it looks more like low quality stock footage thankfully ai has once again come to save the day with this new tool that i'm about to show you you can generate videos in a few minutes for anything you can imagine and they're extremely high quality it even has a free plan and you can create your own free videos in just a few minutes all right so let's jump into my computer and generate some videos all right guys so we are inside my computer and we're looking at poyo.ai this is the landing page, and as you can see, it sh is showcasing some of the different videos that they've generated with their AI model. So first what we can do is we can go to image and video, and this takes us to the main interface where we can generate videos. You can see we have a couple options here. We have image to video, we have text to video, we have this new templates feature, which lets us generate some preset types of videos like AI hug and handshake. That's really cool, and hopefully we'll see more get added here in the future. So for this example, first let's generate a text to video video. Generate a drone view of flying over a mountain range. Now, what you can do is you can use generate with AI to improve this simple prompt, right? Because I'm not an expert in how Poyo wants me to prompt, but they can use AI to actually improve my written prompt because mine's very basic, right? And so looks like I can copy it. So if I go see, and then I go here and copy it, it will give us a few options. So drone gliding over snow capped peaks, serene out. Let's try that one. That one looks good. You can generate more if you want a few more options. I'm going to use professional mode because I have access to it. And then we're going to do horizontal video. So like for, for YouTube, for example. So we can choose for the AI to be more creative or less. I'll stick with 50% for now and we'll see what happens. So you can choose between five seconds or 10 seconds here. I think it's probably better when you're first experimenting to use five seconds because it's going to use up less credits. Because I selected professional mode, I actually can't do the camera control. So that's interesting. I guess it will figure out camera control itself. And then if I wanted to, I could list a few things that are negative prompts. So let's say I did this prompt already and there were some results that I didn't like. I could add those negative prompts in here. That way it generates the video exactly how I planned for it to, okay? So I'm gonna click create and it will probably take a few minutes to generate. And so then once it's done, I will cut to that and show you the final product. So let's see what happens. All right guys, so the generation has completed. As you can see, we have a five second clip here and it looks great. If you were making like, motivational content or anything like that and you wanted to like maybe add some text in the center of the screen this would be perfect now if we looked at it really closely you can kind of tell that it's ai generated but if you're just using it as b-roll for footage it does everything that you need it to do and if you click this menu button right here you can select download with watermark or without depending on what plan you're on so then it's super easy we can just click download without watermark and it downloads right away. Now let's try one that's more based around a human. So let's go smiling woman walking in a field of flowers and we'll have it generate a better version real quick. We'll try that one and we'll do vertical this time. So we can check that out and move it a little bit more creative and let's click create and see what happens. I'll cut to the finished video as soon as it finishes generating. I'll be right back. All right, so it's finished and here we have exactly what we asked for. A woman with a radiant smile strolls amidst a stunning field of wildflowers. I think we got that exactly. And this is great. You could absolutely use this for social media or whatever else you are creating. Okay, so now let's go over to image to video and check out how Poyo turns images into videos. So for this example, I generated an image with Midjourney that we're going to use for this. As you can see, it's a white robot with glowing orange eyes. I'm gonna click okay. 
and that's going to upload to Poyo. And then below that, we have the option to add a prompt for this generation. And I think I'm going to leave this blank so we can just see how Poyo naturally performs. But if you wanted to add, you know, some camera instructions like a tilt pan or slow zoom or something like that, the AI would take those instructions into account when generating. For this version, we're going to see how the standard mode performs. We already used the professional mode in the previous example, so let's see how standard mode does. For the prompt strength, we'll leave it at 50% and we'll do the five second generation again. So now let's click create and see what happens. Generation is going to take a few minutes, so I will cut to the final product as soon as the generation is done. Okay, so the generation is complete and you can see we have the robot here with some camera movement added. You know, if we look at this closer, you can really tell how amazing of a job it did. Even with the standard mode, there's very little like artifacts around the subject of the photo. I think this is amazing. And let's say you use mid journey right now and you want to turn that mid journey generation into a b-roll video for whatever you're creating you could definitely get more control by generating inside mid journey and then taking the photo over to poyo to create more engaging videos with that image and then one more thing if you want to you can click this extend button here and you have the option to you know make your video longer which is pretty cool okay now i also want to show you what it looks like when you generate using one of the templates put inside of poyo so what we're gonna do is we're going to try the AI kissing template and we're gonna see what happens. I pulled a few images off of Google just to experiment with this. I have no idea how this could possibly turn out well. I don't, I don't know, this seems amazing if this works. So we're gonna see what happens and I can imagine that this would be pretty hard for the AI to accomplish from just two randomly sourced images, but we're gonna see what happens. As you can see, there's a preset prompt built in here. And now that I've clicked create, we're gonna wait two to five minutes for this combination to generate. We'll see what kind of result we can get. It might be a little weird, but we're gonna see. This is a brand new feature to Poyo. So I'll just cut to the generation as soon as it's complete. It'll be about two to five minutes. So, okay, this is the finished generation. As you can see, it's a little buggy. It does actually end up combining the two models into this final product. There's not very much motion, but you can kind of see that it started to get it right. I think that if you experiment with this and do a couple of generations, you might be able to get something that is pretty cool. Now, as far as pricing goes, if you use the light or plus plan, this is extremely affordable, especially when compared to traditional B-roll sources, traditional stock footage sources. And you can generate, you know, 80 standard videos, with 800 credits per month. So that's a really good deal. A super cost-effective way to start incorporating B-roll into your content for whatever you are creating. So this is really just a great option if you're, again, a content creator or an online marketer, any kind of entrepreneur that's posting online. This is an amazing tool. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Leave a comment and let me know how you might use this tool in your own workflows. Drop a like if this helped you out. And if you want, watch one of these videos where I show you more amazing AI tools. I promise you they're really cool. I'll see you guys in the next one.